amazing. All right, when I come up here, I'll start answering the question. Mike wants me to. You want to make answer? Yeah, my bike is cold. out how to close this visor. The wind is making my eyes water really bad. When I take my helmet off, I'm gonna look like Beetlejuice with my mascara running down my face. All right, that's better. All right. All right, guys. So I have to answer some questions. Anybody that doesn't know me, which I don't know why you would know me, but if you don't know me, my name is Bridget, Bridget Mary, and I'm 25 years old. I'm five foot two. I'm married with three kids. My oldest is 17. Don't even try to do the math because it adds up. I am 25. Maybe 28, but that's it. And this is my bike, Jixxer 600, and I love it. I'm trying to compare how much I love it. I love it. Like it's a, a pet. Not like I love my children or my husband, but like I would love a pet. I love my bike. And she loves me. But anyways, um... Oh, fuck, I forgot the questions he wanted me to ask. Oh, I've been riding for, this is my second complete year. But I've always rode, like, dirt bikes and stuff like that. I just... Never thought I would ride a motorcycle, but I have to say it's pretty fucking cool. But not sure why I waited so long. <laughs> I always saw myself as just being on the back of like my father's or my husband's. Never thought that I needed to necessarily ride one. But last year when my husband pushed me to go get my license and bought me a bike, it was just a hole that was filled. And I absolutely love it. I mean, if I have to bundle up and be a big giant marshmallow and have snow pants on and six jackets, I'll do it. I don't care how cold it gets. I'll do it. Look how nice this house is on the left. I remember driving by that house when I was a little girl and it was just, I loved it. They have a big bow that they put on the front of it in the Christmas. I mean, it doesn't look as big now as it did when I was a little girl, but still a nice house. I grew up down this way. I'm trying to find my bank. Oh, that's Broadview. That's Broadview too. How's there two of the same bank across the street from each other? That don't make no sense. What the f What the fuck? Oh, great. Well, uh, I don't know. No, I think Key Bank might be down here. Let's see. If not, I'll just use one of these banks. Broadview. Isn't there a key bank back there? No, it might be down here, actually. I grew up down on that street. Lorraine Ave. These were all the streets I used to hang out. I had a whole bunch of friends in this name. Mostly guys. That's alright. I was a tomboy. We used to walk down here. This was Mohawk Mall. There is 
First Bank of America, no. Let's see if this guy, oh, it's waving. Hey, bud. So it doesn't take a lot to wave. Just stick your freaking hand out or give a head nod. Whatever. Doesn't, there's Chase, Chase Bank. I think it's down here. I could be wrong. could be wrong. I don't remember. I'm just going to go to Broadview. <gasps> uh, I'm going to wait. You know how people put on a blinker, but they're not actually turning? <laughs> I'd rather be safe than sorry. All right. Let's just go. All right, I think, no, that's not Key Bank. I already, can already tell it's a green bank. Hudson Valley Credit Union. No, I'd rather go to bug you. Shit. Why is there two fucking broad views? That don't make any sense. Thanks, bud. All right. Like I said, I forgot what Mike wanted me to answer. I have three older sisters. None of them ride. Uh, my father, he was big into bikes. He always, my father always had a bike. Always. <laughs> I mean, he wasn't big into, like, going to those um, bike meetups or, like, Surgis or bike shows, something like that. He was just, uh, you know, what do they call him? Neighborhood rider. That's it. Excuse me, I'm not feeling great. But uh, my mother, she got her motorcycle license. She got a little, what'd she get? A Honda 250, a Honda Rebel, I think. But my mother has um, a disease called Gillian Barre that she got when I was like, nine and uh oh here's a thing it's a disease that affects your nervous system so she lost all of her nerves and was pretty much paralyzed and uh, you know had to do a ton of therapy and get her her strength back and learn how to pretty much do everything I don't know if I should just Oh, God. Well, oh, whatever. I'm going to go through the ATM. They're just going to have to wait. But my mom's a tough cookie. Yeah. With having that disease and going through all that. Yeah, she got her license and got a bike. She doesn't ride because she just is the type of woman who can't sit still. And she's actually a driver. A C she's got her CDL. She's actually a a driver. So she drives for a living. My father passed away on Tuesday. Will be exactly three years. Three years ago. Still blows my mind. Can I even the fuck are you doing? Oh, there's a car behind me. Mike, you better be uh, blocking all this out.
three dollars and you've got to be fucking kidding me could have just went to a gas station they would have charged me 250 I don't know watch me drive right by a key bank too that'll piss me off car is just going to have to wait. <laughs> patient people. I love a patient person. Those are the type of people I love. <sighs> All right. Got everything. Let's go. <sighs> All right, I should call Mike back because I really don't remember what he wanted me to talk about. <laughs> I'll just start talking about myself, talking to myself, not about myself, but to myself. Let's go this way. I'll drive by the school I went to. Okay. You know, back in the... 80s and early 90s it was okay to ride your bike all through the neighborhood when you were you know seven eight years old and not check in and wait until those street lights came on to go home oh shit what happened what i do hope i didn't do anything but uh Yeah, all back here was the neighborhood I grew up for a little bit until my parents got divorced. Nope, that's not even true. Because after we moved from here, we moved up to Stillwater for a couple of years, and that's when my parents ended up getting a divorce. But there's the school I went to, Page Elementary. Used to love this school. They had, there's the gym right there, and they would have like roller skating. I went to preschool here, Magic Kingdom, but uh, they used to have a playground right here. And instead of swinging on those swings, I used to climb up those metal bars all the way up to the top. But um, they used to have uh, roller skating nights, and they would have. Tons of roller skates brought in, and you could skate around the gym. That was fun. Look at these cars for sale. Okay. All right. Okay. But yeah, back to motorcycles. I wish I uh, got my license like 20 years ago. That's right. It's never too late. Never too late. Gotta start somewhere, right? Where the hell am I going? I don't even know where the fuck I'm going. That's not sure I know where I'm going. I just don't know why I took this way. Probably because I wanted to drive by and see my school. is pretty easy. I mean, you gotta be comfortable on the road. If you're comfortable driving a car on the road, then you'll be comfortable riding a bike on the road. I mean, 
shifting and all that. That's not, that's nothing. That's, that's nothing. Riding a bike really is not much hard work either. Just like I said, practice, being comfortable. This light's not ever going to turn for me. <laughs> <laughs> this light's not gonna turn. Ah, oh, fuck. Let's just, let's, oh, look at that. And it turned. Um, I don't know if Mike wants me to talk about how to shift, but I don't really know... I'm not a teacher, so I don't really know how to teach anybody to ride a bike. I mean, find a good teacher. Mike's a great teacher. So find somebody like Mike. Huge garage sale. Oh my God. That's the kind of stuff I want to talk about, is huge garage sales. We just came back from the world's largest garage sale last uh, weekend. I love that place. It's once a year. It's up in Warrensburg. It's the world's largest garage sale. I want to say it's like three to five miles up the main road on one side and then like three to five miles back on the other. And then all the side streets you have. Can I go through this light? The cops around is I kind of want to go through it. You know what? I'm gonna go through it. Don't do that. This garage sale has me distracted. Let's see. Oh, that's not a huge garage sale. What the hell are people thinking? Um. But yeah, it's got everything up at the world's largest garage sale. You name it, anything, an antique, a collectible, uh, whatever, it's up there. It is up there, and I love digging through people's shit. That sounds like a really good day to me. Here's Bank of America. Digging through people's trash to find my treasure. There's another broad view. That's, that's a good day. That's a good day to me. Okay. I don't... I don't think I need gas, but I'll look. I thought I might put gas in. I can't stand when he does that. Uses my gas at the house. I mean, it's good gas at the house, but still. It's my lawnmower gas. All right. I'm just gonna come in here and grab a winning scratch off for later. That's it. Can I get, um... <laughs> and I'm going to get a scratch off after, too. I don't 
ignore my ideas, and that's gonna piss me off. Where's my license? Uh, can I get a number five? Thank you. Thank you. You too. Sorry. Should go down to the casino. Uh, I'm never lucky though. I'm never lucky. I don't know if this is still on, is it? How do I tell? I don't know. And when I try to turn it off, I'll tell. <laughs> All right, check your mirrors. Mirrors are checked. Check what gear you're in. I'm in first gear, so I'll slowly let off the clutch. Um, I'm ready. Let's go. It's incredible. When I was first on this bike, this bike felt so heavy. Uh, I couldn't take sharp turns. My confidence level was real low. And then by the end of last year, I yeah, about the end of last year, it was just I felt like I had control of this bike. You know, I could, I'm tippy toed a little bit on the, my feet, so it was intimidating. But, um, no, I feel like I now, instead of the bike riding me, I'm riding the bike. <coughs> I mean, gravel, that'll get me, anybody nervous. That gets me nervous, but just take your time. Like I said, patience. Patience is the key to life. Gotta have patience. And I tell you, I have a tremendous amount of patience when it comes to everything. My kids, my husband, my job, my boss. Um, I don't know, you name it. I got it, patience. Oh, here comes another biker. You think he's going to wave? One of them must wave. One of them must wave to me. Now they're talking like, was that a chick? Oh my God, that's a chick on a bike. Did you see that chick? And his backpack's probably saying, what the fuck were you waving in that chick for? Do you know her? Oh. I can't do a wheelie. <laughs> My husband hasn't taught me how to do that yet. He wants to, but. I'm not ready. Well, I'm ready, I just don't know if I'm ready. See that video he put up with that guy flying on the side of him with the funeral? That's pretty fucked up. Usually I don't like when he uh, draws attention to himself in any way. I'm kind of like, let it go. Not a big deal. Let it go. But um, <sighs> I would have said, yeah, if you have to go say something. Look at that guy over there on a trike. Hey, bud. Um, yeah, that was fucked up.
poor family, you know? Who the hell wants to see that shit when you're going to a cemetery to bury a loved one? Some fucking guy that wants to rip in and out of traffic and it's just it's just not right. It's just not the right thing to do. You know, have fun on a bike, but just do the right thing. If you do the right thing, then you can have fun and people show... I don't know if this guy appreciates me going on side of him, but whatever. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> I'm such an asshole, too. It smells like pot down here. It just smelled like pot. All right. We're going to see it. Hang. Oh, shit. That's a big bump. Oh. Oh, I thought I went down the wrong road. Oh. Love my aunt. I want to say she's one of my clo- the aunt that I'm like really close to. Her kids, too, kind of grew up like they were my brothers and sister. So, very close with my aunt. I should go home and mow my lawn. Look at those yards. Maybe that's what I'll do. Mike's out grocery shopping, so I could always go run into him. Mike, if you're listening, I don't know what you wanted me to talk about, but trying to tell people how to ride a bike isn't my forte. That's your forte. Look both ways. You know, when you cross the street, look both ways. You're good. There's my tip. Look both ways. Three times. It's a good tip. It's a very good tip to have. I like when it stays nice outside, at least through the end of October, you know, when you're out trick-or-treating with your kids. Look at that, I'm gonna park it right here. And nobody better, nobody better try to squeeze their car right there. Oh, I thought my horn worked. All right, let's go. <laughs> Woo! No, get in front of me. Please don't. Yeah. 